So once you open up a project in Shortcut, this is what you see. This is the interface of Shortcut. And on the top, as with any other program files, you will be able to see the file menu where you can save or open out or export out projects. Over here in edit, you got a functions like cut, redo, undo, and so forth. In view, you can go around and enable, disable different things that you want to enable and disable uh, out in your project. And in settings, you can change around the settings of the application. And from the help menu, you can access out keyboard shortcuts that you can use and so forth. On the top, you have other functions of the software as well. For example, you can open up file. There's a open others option right here. You can save it, undo, redo access the peak, uh, peak maker and similarly access out history, jobs and export options right here. On the top, there's uh, different um, like work areas like logging, there's editing, FX, color grading option right here, there's audio and player option over here for preview. So we are working around with editing over here right now. On uh, this area, you will see the preview of the video and this is where you will be uh, collecting out all of the videos and any file that you may be working around for editing. Over here on the right side, you got the recent and history tab right here, uh, wh where uh, the history and everything else allocates. And on the bottom, you can see that you got the uh, playlist management options. And here you got the editing tools like magnet and so forth, as you can see right here. You can also work around with properties and everything, access out the tabs. And one of the thing about Shortcut is that uh, the user interface is very dynamic, meaning if you were to click and drag out a tab, you can see that you can go around and let's say, for example, undock something as you want and place everything wherever you want right here. So you can see that you can really go around and change around the uh, tab right here. You can go around onto audio, into editing, and it goes back onto default view right here. So you can go around over here onto a view right here and change around the layout right here as well. So let's say I want to restore the default layout. You can go around, restore the default layout from here as well. You can go around into layout and access out FX or other layout from over here as well. So I'm just going to go around into editing in my case. And that has been the layout of the um, um, shortcut video editing application. And in further lessons, we're going to uh, take a look at how we can work around with different options of the application. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.